Today I'm gonna show you how to use my Bluetooth mod and NTR streamer to stream your 3DS's display and audio at the same time to your laptop the proper way. So this way is gonna be quite advanced, you need a lot of stuff. I will provide lots of it, but not everything. Um, I have a text guide on GBA temp on how to do this, but this one will be more in depth and somewhat upgraded. Um, I do it different than most people do and that has to do with the method that I execute stuff and what stuff I use and I start off with showing you what you need. So obviously you're gonna need a 3DS So I have mine right here and I'm gonna pull out the box what I'm gonna need. So first thing you need um, since we built in a Bluetooth transmit into the 3DS you need a Bluetooth receiver either built in into your laptop or computer and it must be capable of receiving audio. This one can receive audio, I modified it a little but that doesn't matter now. I can put an antenna on it to increase range but that's not the point. So you need a Bluetooth receiver for audio, that's first. You need something like this, a headphone jack that is cut off, I try to focus on that. That will be hard though. So you need a Bluetooth jack that is cut off to just activate the headphone jack in your 3DS. You will need an extension cord for the audio. Um, furthermore, you need, yes, this is not needed, but it's very useful. This is a Bluetooth, uh, no, not a Bluetooth, a wireless module, you can see it here. Um, this is a 300N. You won't need that much, but it's very useful to have this much because your 3DS has only 54 Mbps. So having a strong connection is important. Why I use this is I will create a hotspot from this USB stick from my laptop that will stream internet to my 3DS. And what that does is it decreases the range it has between your 3DS and the router and will make it the 3DS to this USB stick. And since I have a USB hub here, the range will be from here to my table, which will be much stronger than going to my router, which is all the way over there. So this will make it possible to get a much stronger connection while streaming your display. So this is optional, but very useful. And that should be all for now. So I'll get this out of the way and start up. So um, this one I plug into the USB port. I'll just use this one. I don't really care. So that's in. And this one goes into the line in of my laptop, which is on the side here. So this is the microphone in port. You can have better options like getting really one that goes into the USB port which will sound better and stuff. And this is just a cheap one. You can get a more expensive one like I have for my um, headphones while training. And this one is more expensive so it probably will sound a little better but it's not necessary requ necessarily but required. This one was like six euros so that's really cheap. All right. Um, Let's move my camera back. To start things off, if you've done the Bluetooth mod on my 3DS, what you can do is, um, I'll show something on my laptop with like this. I have recording software, but I just do it like this. So, you will go to your speaker settings and then to recording. And then you take your microphone, listen, and enable listening. And now the line in port will be output on your laptop. So you can put down the volume of that. And now if I enable this, you'll be able to hear it. So once you have that one activated, you plug this inside your 3DS and what that will do is um, it will make your 3DS output the audio through the headphone jack and that one is connected to the Bluetooth transmitter now. So I'll enable the Bluetooth transmitter up here. And now it will pair with my 
now it's connected. So I can close this off. Power on my 3DS. And the audio will come out of my laptop. So that solves that. All right, the second thing, if you are on 11.2, you should start using NTR switcher, which works much better and is much faster. So you start that up. It will automatically go on 3.4 if it's correctly set up. And that's it. Now, this is everything you need to do on your 3DS. It's now um, ready to get connection to my computer and has the Bluetooth already transmitting to the computer. So now I'll switch over to my computer and show you how to set that up. So now we're on the computer. You should download the 3ds capture.rar that I have provided in the description. And once you downloaded it, it will look on the inside like this. Notice that all the axes are actually blanks and only show where stuff goes. So you have to download stuff from the GitHubs or install the provided access. This is not one, um, like OBS here, and install them into the proper folders. So this is what you have, and this is how it should look once you're done. So now I downloaded all the real tools with the links and the installers provided. So this is how it should look in the end. We have NTR streamer with viewer, my batch file, which is actually called run all, but I renamed mine to N3DS, which doesn't matter. I will go into that later. You will install 3DS controller in here, connectify in here. OBS inside here and PS3 controllers optional if you want to use input redirection which is this and I will also show how to implement input redirection into this whole setup so it will work flawless as well so the first thing you have to do is actually um, customize the batch that I made to make it run for your system so if you open it up, you will see a lot of stuff. And really, it's not that hard if you go, this, you can all skip this, because this is just for uh, getting administrator rights and stuff, so we're gonna skip that. And um, I won't go into full detail. I think I've done that on my uh, text guide on GBA temp, which will probably also be in the description, but you will have to make some adjustments to make it work on your own system. So most things are universal, but not all the things because um, my speaker setup, this one is a real tech and the chance is pretty slim that you have a real tech as well. So stuff like removing or resizing windows like this one that are based on my real tech setup won't work for you. So what you can do is replace it with your own or just delete the line altogether. The same goes for using a hotspot to get a better connection. If you don't have a USB Wi-Fi dongle or whatever, you don't want to use it, you can just delete these lines and it won't start up a hotspot. And that should pro, oh no, there's one more thing. Um, I made my own direct directory in my Dropbox, so it goes to C user, but then we'll go to Dropbox. The one you downloaded will go to documents. So the run all batch has documents instead of Dropbox. You can replace that to wherever, wherever you want to have it. I use Dropbox, you can use documents, you can adjust to whatever you want but you will have to adjust it everywhere so you could probably just if you want to replace uh, documents with Dropbox you could just press ctrl H and then replace um, documents but I have Dropbox to Dropbox and then replace all 
and it should replace all of them that have Dropbox and that should be good too. The rest is universal so it's not that hard at all actually. So um, my setup moves stuff around and resizes them. This is done with uh, this plugin that will be moved to your system directory here. It does that every time because I couldn't find a better way to implement it. If you have more knowledge of me with batch files, you can do whatever you want, but this should work for everybody. So that's the main point. And um, furthermore, this will probably not work. So you have to replace or delete that. But once you have set all this up, it should work like this. So if I minimize that, the batch file for me is linked here. So if I click this, it will run the batch file and this will start to happen. As you can see, everything opened up, it moves stuff around. This is exactly how I wanted to have it in exactly the right priorities. So uh, one more thing, if you want to use input redirection, usually you use this and configure the NTR viewer path. Um, don't do that, not with my setup, or you shouldn't at all because my batch file already opens up NTR and that I do that so it can be resized and stuff, but it also gives me the opportunity to run something else once you press connect in Nitro Streamer. And what you can do is I have another batch file inside the 3DS controller folder. So inside here is the start batch and that will run uh, input redirection delayed. So you can look into this one as well, hang on. It's just um, waiting before it connects, killing Nitro Streamer and opening input redirection. That's all. So you bind this one to Nitro Streamer. So if I make connection with Nitro Streamer, you will see, hang on, if I connect, it will open another batch file. It will count down for amount of time that it takes most of the new 3DS to connect. And once you can see my screen a couple of seconds later, it kills Nitro Streamer and resizes input redirection and it didn't move it. That's something I can fix, but that's not happening all the time. And now input redirection is also working. So as you can see, I can control my touch screen from here and probably other stuff too, but I don't have input redirection set up 100%. So that's something you can do as well with my setup, but whatever. So that's how it should work and how you set it up. And now I'll go into de detail how to set up the Wi-Fi dongle, I guess. So, so now we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi hotspot. So. You can use that instead of going all the way to your router and I'll quickly show how that works. So um, this is the Wi-Fi that is built in into my laptop and this is the cable that goes to my laptop. Um, you can, you receive internet with these and what we will do is you have seen me plugging in the USB dongle, that's this one, and we will make uh, this, make a hotspot and choose one of these to give internet to this one. So this one can send the internet to your 3DS and that will decrease range and make much better connection. So as you can see, I'm receiving internet at the moment through cable and Wi-Fi. So this is where Connectify comes in. You can use uh, this my comment i already have it in my batch file but these are comments to create um, a hosted network the problem is this works but a lot of people have trouble with it i had two it worked for two weeks and then it stopped working altogether because of conflicts and dns and blah it creates a lot of different ip addresses and stuff and it messes up and because of that i look for a solution and connectify um, we actually don't use Connectify to create the hotspot. We still use this. Well, it still does it, but it doesn't really matter. But the main thing is Connectify manages the IP addresses and stuff properly. So you will get no conflicts and can connect. And I believe this running all the time. My 3DS is always connected to this and it always works. So what you do is 
Um, at the beginning, when you set it up, you can't can't really choose which of these will be used since they all Wi-Fi. So what I do to set it up is I disable this, which is my main Wi-Fi, and that will leave my computer with only one Wi-Fi spot. So if I now create a hotspot, it should start it from this one. And later you can pick this one to choose the real tag, which is this one. But as you can see now, if I start a hotspot, it will take this one. And remember what number this is. Sometimes it will mess up and still make it from this one. It will have a different number there. I know if this one uh, creates the hotspot, it would be local area connection 13 instead of 16. So that's something to keep an eye out because this one works much worse, even though it's a better Wi-Fi adapter. So I don't know why that is, but probably because my internet from my laptop also comes in here. So if I enable this one back up, it will connect to my Wi-Fi network and everything will be good. So now we have a hotspot running and it gets internet from this and sends it through my to my 3DS. And as you can see, we have a hotspot running with the name N3DS which can be done with this, but even if this one has the default Connectify uh, name because you don't have the premium version, my comments here will change the hotspot name to N3DS anyway and will override Connectify and that will work too. But as you can see now I can share over and then the real tag, not the Intel. That's important. That will make sure in the future that it uses the real tag. Sometimes it still mess up, but whatever. So now this is done and you can close out of this. And that's pretty much everything you have to do. So leave Connectify running, make it auto boot, and that will make a hotspot every time that your 3DS will connect to. I deleted my own network out of my 3DS and my 3DS is my only device that connects to this hotspot. So, and it works pretty good. So that's all for that. So now that everything is set up properly, your 3DS should be connected to your laptop through the hotspot, like here, you can see my 3DS is there. And if you open the batch file, it will run everything, move stuff around, unmute the 3DS, connect. Wait it out, there it is. And now it moved input bracket the e redirection probably. And everything should work out. And as you can see my frame rate is really high, really high. And that's because of the hotspot. Before I used the hotspot it was much lower. And the frame rate will look absolutely terrible for you because it's recording a recording, so but the raw recording if I press recording gets really good. And that's how I use my input redirection. And NTR streamer. So that's all. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out. See ya.